from Maple Grove, Minnesota. I'm Nancy Chen. I'm 16 years old, and the college I want to go to is Princeton University. What strikes me about this college are the outstanding professors and students and the beautiful campus. In our current year, while our Americans face many concerns, our founding fathers speak through the Declaration of Independence, showing us that we still believe in the same basic principles prevalent 272 years ago. We cherish liberty and security. We maintain the consent of the governed, and we conjure a spirit of change when change is necessary. Heated debates across the country battle over gun control, immigration, wiretapping, health care, issues that weigh heavy on the minds of Americans. Essentially, the two sides of any one of these contested issues represents a struggle for balance between liberty and security. For example, gun control. Is it security against a society of weapon-wielding neighbors, or is it infringement of our rights protected by the Second Amendment? In the Declaration of Independence, any phrase from provide new guards for their future security to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness tells us that our founding fathers envisioned a country in which our security, freedom, and happiness were ensured. 2008 is again a time when Americans will be exercising their right to a government based on the consent of the governed. The entire House of Representatives, a third of the U.S. Senate, and of course, the presidential office is in contention. Looking at the Declaration of Independence, it is evident that our founding fathers ranked voice in the government as high in priority. Thomas Jefferson warned that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes. However, the whole Declaration of Independence dictates the need for change and represents this ideal. In 2008, Americans are seizing this ideal and making demands. Time Magazine writes, how the next president should fix the economy. Organizations such as the Stop Global Warming Virtual March appeal to the American people for the cause of change. 1.5 million Americans drawn by his message for change support Senator Obama with donations. In 2008, we expect no less of our government than we did in 1776. In 2008, we look at the candidates for the presidency and find evidence that all men and women are created equal. In 2008, we as Americans still have the right to pursue safety, freedom, and happiness. We maintain a government by the people, and we seek change when it is needed to continue the United States tradition of being the greatest country it can be.